Hallelujah. Good afternoon, everyone, wherever you are watching from, wherever you are listening from. Once again, this is Apostle Kenneth Ojirika from House on the Rock Prayer Assembly, known as City of Freedom, live on Facebook this wonderful afternoon just to encourage someone, just to share the word of life, just to share the bread of life. Hallelujah. That whosoever shall be a partaker of this word strongly believe that your life will never remain the same hallelujah so wherever you are you can start sharing this video you can start connecting your friends you can start calling your friends and let them know i'm live because i know that god is going to do something new something great in your life hallelujah so just let's go to worship maybe in the next six minutes before uh bring the word of god just to encourage you I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you are passing through. But this afternoon, the Lord just dropped that word in my heart. Is anything too hard for God to do? And I want to let you know, nothing is too hard for the, our God to do. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Daddy is able. And he is more than able. Yes, this yes. afternoon in your life. May the Lord bless you as you join us in this wonderful worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> What would I live for if I don't have you in my life? What would I gain if you take the Holy Ghost? What is my profit? Hey! I'll put you in front, mm. in front of my melody. You are all the matter. You are all the matter. I make room for two. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You and I, Jesus. You are all the matter. Is it a house or is it a car? I'll give them all to you. Hmm. Is it the name or is it the fame? I'm nothing without you. What would I become of me? What would become of me? If I didn't see your light. <laughs> hey! Kayala Masata. The 
God bless you, my beloved brother. You are all the mother. You are all the mother. I make room for you. Hey, you and I, Jesus. You are all the mother. You are all the mother. Oh. You are all the matter. Oh, Jesus, you are all. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, my God, you are all the matter. Oh, if it matters to you, you are all the matter. Wherever you are, open your mother begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Riba Kanta Namana Sukia. Le Barata Laga Daga Daga Braga Daga 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 for nothing is impossible with God. Nothing is too hard for God to do. Mm. Yes! Me and my household just serve the Lord. It doesn't matter what the devil plans. It doesn't matter the plans of the enemy. You are destined to serve God. You are destined to worship him. Devil will never take glory in your life. I say problem will never take glory in your life. I say sickness will never take glory in your life. I declare and I declare God will take his glory over your life and your destiny. Mountains are being leveled right now. Cancers are being shrunk right now. Some that are being healed right now. Sicknesses are being disappeared now. In the name of Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> I see impossibilities. Becoming possible right now in your life. I see God making a way when see to be no way in your life. Let me tell you something. I don't care to know what the enemy have afflicted you with. Today, wherever you are, it is a healing session. Because whatever that stands to be impossible in your life, I serve the God that specializes in impossibilities. I serve the Lord that specializes to make things that is big small. I serve the God. He 
specialize in making nothing something. God is going to make nothing something in your life today. If you have anyone that is sick, if you have anyone sick, wherever the person is, call the person now, tell the person to connect live on Facebook. Kabayaba. Leba soto robo ya kata. Suta ye kanuhi kata. Isa tapia dakuda kata ya. Seka munaka. Ibridika. Le manaka da ya kabiata. Suta ya. Le ikata kata mana. Healing power of God. Right now in the name of Jesus. I declare and I declare. If you are blind now, I command your eyes to see. I command cataracts to be destroyed. Glaucomas be destroyed. Pain be destroyed. By the power in the Holy Ghost. Now, problems that start impossible are being solved now. You are the Jesus. You are all that You are all the matter. I put you in front, my God, in front of my destiny. Nino kata ne ika payala ga suta ne kata nama katuya kata keke keka sakata. In brother duuga da manakya katuke ya kaka sukate ya ka. In parada du sute kila kuka e kata ya. Impossibility now are possible. I say it's possible now. I say it is possible now. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are this afternoon, God bless you for joining us. The Lord just dropped in my heart. I'm not going to take much of your time. The Lord just dropped in my heart just to encourage somebody. And for sickness to be healed, for mountain to be leveled, Amen. for cancer to be shrink, Amen. it doesn't matter growth in your body. Amen. There is a power of God that is available this moment Amen. to cleanse the leper, Amen. to heal the sick, yes, and to set the oppressed free. Amen. Now, and I want to take you somewhere to the book of Genesis. Chapter 18, and I'm reading from verse 13. Please follow me. Genesis chapter 18, and I'm reading from verse 13. And the Lord said unto Abraham, And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Sarah laugh? Why did Sarah laugh? Saying, Saying, Shall I, Shall I, Can I be a child in this my old age? Which means, Sarah, so I said that she have aspired as some of us that is listening to me because of the circumstances, because of the situation, you have made up thy mind that you have aspired. You made up thy mind that you have finished. But can I tell you something? Jesus Christ said on the cross of Calvary, Jesus Christ said, it is finished. Jesus did not say you are finished. Jesus said it is finished. Amen. Jesus did not say you are finished. So I don't know the situations and the circumstances. I am here to tell you, sister, you are not finished. Amen. It is your problem that is finished. Amen. It is your pain that is finished. Amen. It is your secret that is finished. Amen. It is they that trouble you that is finished. Amen. But your life is not finished. Amen. God asked Abraham and God is asking somebody this hour. God is asking the sister this hour. God is asking the brother this hour. I can hear the Lord saying to somebody, my son, 
my daughter, why do you love? Why do you have it in your mind that you are now old, you can't get it? Why do you have it in your mind? It is late, you can't possess it. Why do you have it in your mind that that sickness has held you bound so long that you cannot be healed? Why do you have it in your mind that the problem of life have kept you down long away that you cannot do what you cannot be healed? But I have come to you with this good word. I have come to you according to verse 14. What did verse 14 say? Surely come to pass in your life. 
I said they will come to pass in your life. Amen. And God did to Sarah as he has spoken. Today, God will do to you as God has spoken. Amen. God will do to you as God has declared it. Amen. God will do to you as he has spoken. Why? Amen. Because God is the Lord Amen. that specializes in impossibility. He specializes where there is no way to make a way. He specializes where there is no water to bring water. He specializes where there is mountain to level it. Amen. I see your mountain being leveled today. Amen. Wherever you are, I see your mountain being leveled today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You are listening to me. You are washing me now. You carry a growth in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that growth has stand as a mountain. That growth has stand as a mountain in your life. The growth have been asking you, where is your God? You have been going from prayer to prayer, and the growth is still there. Today, by the word of God, I declare, I declare that growth to disappear now. Amen. I say disappear now. Amen. I say disappear now. Amen. I say disappear now. Amen. I command that growth to dissolve. I command that growth to shrink. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And God visited Sarah as he had promised. And God did to her as he had spoken. Amen. When God remember a man, he finished all his problems. Today, God is remembering you. God is going to do the impossible in your life. Why do I say that? When you read the book of Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 27. <clears throat> Behold, Behold, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. The God of all flesh. The God of all flesh. Is there anything, Is too, hard there anything too hard for me? Oh, Lord, Rabbi Shakalaba. I am the God of all flesh. Amen. I Take my glory in all flesh. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too hard for me to do. That is the word of God. Now, let me take you somewhere. When you read the book of Luke chapter 18, from verse 26 and 27, I want you to look at what this scripture says. Luke 18, 26 and 27. I want you to read that scripture. And they th mm -hmm. that heard it. And they that heard it. Say. Who then can be saved? Who then can, can be, saved? be saved? And he said. What? Hold on a minute. Who then can be healed? Amen. Who then can be delivered? Amen. Who then can be saved? Amen. I don't know where you have been asking yourself. Who then can be saved? Who then can be delivered? Who then can be free from this problem? Who then can be set loose? I don't care to know. Evil prophecies have been working against you. You have been crying every day. How can I be saved from this? How can I be loose from this? I don't know the problem. I don't know the circumstances that you carry. Running about, walking up and down, crying. Who can save me from this? Can I tell you something? If you are looking for your deliverance in the hand of a man, you will fail. If you are looking for deliverance, if you are looking for help, if you are looking for lifting, and it is in the hand of man, you will be disappointed. No man can lift you above his shoulder. No man can take you higher than his shoulder. But Jesus Christ said, he said, who then shall be saved? Who then can be saved? You, my dear, listening to me, and you have been asking yourself, who then can be saved? Who then can be delivered? How can I come out of this situation? How can this new thing happen in my life? How can this yoke be broken over my life? How can this generational curse be broken in my life? How can this problem be solved. I want you to read verse 27 for me. Verse 27. Luke 18, 27. And he said, And 
Jesus said, saying to you now, Jesus saying to you, uh -huh, the things which are impossible with men, the things which are impossible with men, are possible with God. Oh, yeah. the things which are impossible with men, possible. now it is possible with God. If you can type amen like thunder, I stand by the word of God that can deliver deliverance, Amen. that can deliver you, Amen. that can set you free, Amen. that can make a way for you, Amen. that can show you the way. Amen. I stand on that word, Amen. sister, with God. All things are possible for you now. Amen. I said now. Amen. All things are possible for you now. Hey, yagada, yagada. With God, all things are possible for you now. Amen. <laughs> I tell you, get kapaka taya katama na gataga. I say with God, all things are possible for you now. It's possible for you now. Possible for you now. Yeah, possible for you now. Possible for you now. Yeah, I say all things. Yeah, kapa. With men, it is impossible. With men, it is impossible. But with God, rebuza, yege rebuza. With God, all things are possible. I prophetically decree, prophetically declare, all things are possible for you now. Amen. Yeah, healing is possible. Amen. Deliverance is possible. Amen. Freedom is possible. Amen. Sister, that situation where you find yourself right now, it is possible. Amen. For with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Now, let me show you something you're going to like. So that you will know that believing God is not stupidness. Believing God is pleasing God. Amen. Hallelujah. Believing God is pleasing God. The book of Joshua chapter 21 verse 45. I want you to look at this. This scripture always challenge me anytime I hear this scripture. And this scripture give me passion. This scripture give me reason. This scripture give me the, 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 the zeal to serve God more. Mm -hmm. to, to prove that God can never lie. I want you to listen to the testimony of the man called Joshua in the Bible. What did Joshua say? They fail not of any good. They fail not, not. Uh -huh. of any good. Not out of any good thing which the Lord has spoken, which the Lord has spoken unto the house of Israel, unto the house of Israel, all came to pass. All came to pass. Bible said, Joshua looked back. Joshua looked back, and he discovered that Amen. everything God has spoken concerning the house of Israel, all of them have come to pass. Amen. I start at that word today. Because the word say is anything impossible, is anything too hard for God to do. I stand on the word of God today to declare over your life that which the Lord has spoken concerning you, that which the Lord has promised you today by the word of God, it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. Amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. Your destiny will fulfill purpose. Amen. You will not die before your time. Amen. No weapon that form against you shall prosper. Amen. Enemy will not come near your dwelling. Amen. A thousand shall fall by your left hand, ten thousand your right hand, Amen. and they will not come near your dwelling. The Lord shall give his anger charge over you. Amen. If God said it, God will do it. Yeah. He promised the children of Israel. All he promised the children of Israel came to pass. Amen. Today I decree every promises of God concerning your life must surely come to pass. Amen. I say it must surely come to pass. Amen. I say it must surely come to pass. Amen. I say it must surely come to pass. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now I want to look at this. When you read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10, 
Remember what I said? I told you that every promise that God has given must surely come to pass. And if God has done it in the days of the old, he will do it again. If God said it before and God is still saying it now, he will do it. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. Can you read please? Thank you. For all the promises of God. For all the promises of God. Are in him. Are in him. Yeah, and in him. All the promises of God. In him. In Christ. Are ye. Are yes. And in him. And in him. Amen. Amen. Unto the glory of God. Unto the glory of God. By us. Christ is the fulfillment of of the promises of God to you. Amen. Christ is the fulfillment of God's promises to you. Amen. That whatever God has promised our fathers in Christ, the fulfillment is in Christ. Amen. And may I tell you something? Your life is in Christ. Amen. You are hidden in Christ. Amen. In Christ you move. Amen. In Christ you live. In Christ you have your being. So I am here to declare to you today that you are complete in Christ. Amen. Nothing is broken. Amen. Nothing is losing. Amen. You are not losing nothing. Nothing is lacking. Everything in you is complete in Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And somebody will ask me, this is a question I want to answer now. Somebody will ask me, yeah, apostle, I believe what you say, but why am I going through? Why am I in one problem? Why am I in one circumstances? Let me help you and answer that question, and I'm going to pray for you. I will help you to answer the question, and I'm going to pray for you right now. Go to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Uh -huh. There has no temptation. There has no temptation. You, that is taking you, but such as is common, but so is common to man. So, put me anything that is going, anything you are going through in your life now is not common to man. Bible did not say common to church, Bible did not say common to a Christian, it didn't say common to pastor, it didn't say common to bishop. He didn't say come on to the people of God. He said come on to man. Man is man. Unbeliever go through it. You go through it. Hallelujah. Whatever you are going through. is because you are in this world. Remember. You are in this world. But you are not of this world. Hey Yagaba. Because you are in this world. You are going through something. But in you are going through something. Abraham was in this world. Abraham went through something. God come through for him. My God, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Abraham was in the war. Upon all God promises, he passed through something because he is in this war. But he is not of this war. You are in this war. You are not of this war. You might be going through something, but I want to tell you something. I see God coming through for you. Coming through for you. Coming through for you. Amen. Coming through for you. Amen. Coming through for you. Amen. God came through for Abraham. Amen. He put a laughter in his mouth. Amen. God came through for Sarah. Amen. Remember the heart. God is coming through for you. Amen. God is remembering you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yes, no temptation. There is no temptation. There is no temptation. That is such is common to man. Such is common to man. Sort is common to man. Sort is common to man. Whatever you're going through now is common to man. It's common to man. That did not come to kill you. That did not come to take you away from Christ. That did not come to blow you out of the ring. That did not come to hold you down. That did not come to defeat you. I am coming. Because you think you have retired. You think there is no way. You think you can't make it. Who told you that? Sister, you are a champion by design. I say you are a champion by design. You are 
are a champion by design. You are a champion by design. Stop comparing yourself with others. Stop comparing yourself with an unbeliever. Hallelujah. Because God has a plan for you. The plan and purpose of God for you on earth is not what you think. It's not what you see. But when you follow the word of God, wholeheartedly, with all your heart, you begin to see the plan and the purpose of God for your life. Abraham followed the Lord. Abraham obeyed the Lord. And the Lord came through for him. Why? Because Abraham was no more interested of what he don't have. Abraham wasn't more interested of what he didn't have. But Abraham was more interested of obeying the voice of God. Hallelujah. Obeying the voice of God. Make it a way for you. When sin to be no way. Obeying the voice of God. Levels your mountain. Obeying the voice of God. Make bring water out of the rock. Obeying the voice of God. Provide water for you in your desert. Obeying the voice of God. Give you miracle when your mockers are mocking you. Obeying the voice of God. Changes things around for you. I speak. I see God turning things around for you. Amen. And the Bible says. Amen. No temptation that comes to you. Come to kill you. That temptation is common to man. Continue in that scripture. But God is faithful. I want you to know. God is faithful. Amen. Uh -huh. Who will not suffer you to be tempted? Who will not suffer you to be tempted? Above that you are able. Above that which you are able. So put it, I am telling you, no problem is bigger than you. Amen. If you are down now, arise. Amen. If you are depressed now, arise. Amen. If you are oppressed now, arise. Amen. That problem is not bigger than you. That problem is not bigger than you. Amen. I prophesy that problem is not bigger than you. Amen. You are bigger than your problem. You are bigger than your circumstances. Amen. You are bigger than that pain. You are bigger than whatever you are going through. The Bible says God will not suffer you to have a problem that will be bigger than you. Amen. Whatever you are going through is not bigger than you. What you are going through is not greater than you. Have you forgotten? The Bible says, greater is he that is in me. Romo <laughs> Jagawaga. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. So whatever you are passing through or you are going through in this world, I want you to remember that the one inside of you is bigger. The one inside of you is bigger than the one you are seeing outside. Hallelujah. I pray that today the Lord will open your eyes to see the bigness of God in you Amen. and see the smallest of your problem. To see the bigness of God in you and see the smallest of your problem. Amen. Hallelujah. So that problem you are going through, the title is, is anything too hard for God to do? That problem you are going through is common to man. Maybe you are going through headache. There are people that have headache all over. And there are people that headache have been healed. You have cancer. There are people that cancer have been healed. You have diabetes. There are people that God have healed in diabetes. It doesn't matter the problem you have. You have pain. There are people that have conquered pain. You have problems. There are people that have conquered it. Let me tell you, no problem that comes on your way. Any problem that comes on your way is because you are able. You are able to overcome. Amen. I call you an overcomer today. Amen. You are able to overcome. Amen. You are able to overcome. Amen. When you read the Bible, you will discover that when the ten spies and twelve spies went to search for the Canaan land, the land that flowed with milk and honey. When they came back, the ten spies, they give all kind of negative report. They say the land is good. The land is good. But we saw the giant all over. We are not able. We are not able to possess that land. But Joshua and Caleb say, what are we waiting for? 
let us move immediately. For we are well able. I have come to prophesy to somebody that will type Amen. Sister, in that circumstances, you are well able. Amen. In that situation, you are well able. Amen. I don't know what you are going through, but I am here to declare to you, you are well able. Amen. You are well able. Amen. You are stronger than your enemy. Amen. You are stronger than your problem. Amen. You are stronger than what you are going through. Amen. You are stronger than what you are saying. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I have come to declare unto you today, sister, you are stronger. You are stronger. You are stronger. God is making a way for you. I, I, I see God says so in that in that first Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Can you read that scripture again for me? First Corinthians. There, there have no temptation taken. There has no temptation that I take a man. But such as has come unto man. But such has come unto man. But God is faithful. But God, somebody type. God is faithful. Amen. My God is faithful. Amen. Jesus is faithful. Amen. The only faithful God is him. Amen. Even when we are faithless, he is faithful. Yes. Lord, today I judge you faithful. Yes. Hey, I judge you faithful. Yes. Even in my circumstances, I say you are faithful. Yes. In the life of everyone listening to me, I say you are faithful. Yes. Over this generation, I say you are faithful. Yes. Over Trinidad and Tobago, you are faithful. Yes. Over Barbados, you are faithful. Yes. Over Nigeria, you are faithful. Yes. Over the nation, you are faithful. Yes. My God, we declare you faithful. Yes. Faithful is our God. Yes. He said, but God is faithful. Why? Because he never lied. Amen. But God is faithful. Why? Because he cannot turn his back on himself. Even when man is unfaithful, God still remains faithful. Because our God honors his word. Even when men deny themselves, God is still faithful. Amen. He said, but God is faithful. Uh -huh. Who will not suffer you to be tempted? Who will not suffer you to be tempted? Above that you are able. Above that you are able. Uh -huh. But will with the but, temptation. But with, wait. I want you to get this right. But will wait that temptation so it doesn't matter what you are going through now in the same problem god is making a way of escape for you Amen. in that sickness god is healing you now Amen. in that rejection god is celebrating you now Amen. in where there is no way god is making a way for you now Amen. where people say you are nobody in nobody god is making somebody in the day of Jephthah, they rejected him, but they didn't know they rejected their captain. They didn't know they rejected their law. From today, wherever you have been rejected, hey, the Lord will make you Lord over them. Amen. In the same problem, God but will wait. The same problem, make a way of escape for you. I have come to the close and to the end of this message. And I want to pray for somebody. You are here. You are sick. You are going through something. Because you don't know how that come. You wake up one morning. All of a sudden, you, you see yourself being sick. You see yourself being attacked in the dream. And you wake up in the morning. Sickness comes. In your working place, people dropping something in the working place, that is why you are sick. Because they don't want you to ascend into that position. Maybe you are sick 
because of your error or because of your mistake or because of your wrong eating. I have come. They ask a question. Who then can be saved? I love, listen, that is a challenge. So they don't even believe that anybody can be saved again. Why? Because what they saw there as condition was too much. If you that, that's when Jesus Christ was telling them that it is too hard for a rich man to go to him. So they look at it and say, who then is saved? Who then is saved? He told them, relax your mind. As I'm talking to you right now, sister, relax your mind. He told them, take it easy. With men, in my strength, it is impossible. <laughs> in somebody's power, it is impossible. Yeah. But he said, but with God, Elegaba oh. Magada, all things are possible. Yeah. You're listening to me, you're watching me. If you're using your phone, you're using your computer, whatever you're using, I just want you to place your hand in that computer or your phone as a point of contact right now. And you just get ready for the healing power of God, for deliverance to take place, for healing, for freedom. Christ will be rooted. Christ will be grounded in your heart this hour. Because the Bible says with him, all things are possible. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, that name that is above all names, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the totality of the gospel, Jesus, which we pray, the only one that died, he was buried and he resurrected. And Father have exalted him above all names. And he gave him a name. And he said, at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. And I stand by authority in that name this hour. I pray for you, my beloved sister, Kelly. I pray for every one of you that have sent forth your prayer point to say, pray for me. And many of you that is putting your hand on your television, on your phone, hallelujah, wherever you are, on your computer right now, in your working place right now, and you are sick, you have an impossible situation. Asking yourself, how can this be saved? I've seen yourself. When can I come out from this situation? I have come to declare to you today that with God all things are possible. Amen. According to Genesis chapter 21 from verse 1. And God visited Sarah as he had promised. And God remembered her as she had spoken. Luke 18. 26, 27. He said, who then can be saved? And he said, with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Right now, I decree, I declare, all things are possible in the name of Jesus. Sister, so in the name of Jesus, now be healed. I say be healed. I say be free. I say be free. I say be free. From every infirmity of the enemy, be free now. I say be free now. I say be healed now. Every mountain standing before you, I command the mountain to be leveled. Every impossibility in your life now, I say be possible. May the Lord remember you as he remembers Sarah. May the Lord do to you as you have spoken. The plan and purpose of God for your life cannot be thwarted. And you are there. I pray for your family. I lift up your family before you. As that the Lord will uphold that marriage. The Lord will uphold that family. Amen. 
every evil eyes in that marriage, evil eyes in that family, today I command their eyes to be blind. Amen. Today I declare your marriage invisible in the eyes of the enemy. Amen. I declare you invisible in the eyes of the enemy. Amen. In your office, I declare you invisible. Amen. Wherever you are filed, wherever your business, wherever your file had been hiding on that today the Lord will bring it on top. Amen. Wherever men have denied you your position today, the Lord will position you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Bible said that we shall both all things that you will prosper, even as your soul prospereth. Sister, I pray for you that Jesus Christ will be rooted, Jesus Christ will be grounded Amen. in your heart, that the Lord will richly dwell in your heart. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. What stop your mother will not stop you. Amen. What stop your father will not stop you. Amen. Where your father did nourish, you will reach. Amen. Where members of your family did nourish, you will reach. Amen. I decree and I declare today, doors will open for you in the heart of men. Amen. Doors will open for you in the land. Amen. The gate of the city will open for you. Amen. The gate of the land will open for you. Amen. The gate of heaven will open for you. Amen. The gate of the city will open for you. Amen. The gate of healing will open for you. Amen. Gate of deliverance will open for you. Amen. Gate of salvation will open for you. Amen. Every gate you have been knocking on before now, right now I declare it open. Amen. 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 I have come to that Glory. gate. I have come to that ancient gate. I have come to that stubborn gate. According to the book of Psalm 24. He said, lift up your hands, O you gate, and you everlasting gate, that the king of glory might come in. I decree and I declare right now that the king of glory have come in. Amen. The king of glory have come in. Amen. 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 That God promises concerning your life in Christ have come to fulfillment. Amen. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I want to use this opportunity to say thanks for coming of life, you know. But just share this message that others will be a part of it. That God will also use you to share this message where others will listen to it and get delivered and get healed and be free from the bounds of the enemy. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you as if you still have time, you can still join us in this worship as we are closing. He says that, I love that worship so much. He said, some carry their God. Why my God will carry me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They carry their God. Why my God will carry me? They protect their God. Why my God will protect me? Hallelujah. I declare, I declare that from today, your God will protect you. Amen. I say God will protect you. Amen. Some carry their God. Hallelujah. Oh, managa boga zagada. They carry their God, but our God will carry us. Yes. They carry their God, and our God will carry us. Are you hearing me? So you can join us with this song and God will bless you. Kalaba katalaba shatara baraba. You carry me when some carry their God. You feel it all when some feel their God. Ah. You fought for me. When some fall for their God, hey, Jesus, Jesus, you know they let me play. Hey, you know they let you play. That is the God we serve. Oh, no.
satanic embargo Amen. every satanic seal of limitation place on their life yes, place on their family yes, father in the name of jesus you, you put to shame whosoever that have come under an oath put to shame whosoever that have come under a vow yes. to block the flow of good in their life Amen. father i ask oh god that you will do what no man can do in their life Amen. lord show them mercy where they need mercy Amen. lord i ask that you will put them Lord, you will keep them. Yes, Lord, I ask that every one of them will not miss him. Amen. Lord, fire their faith up to yes, believe Lord. and to have their confidence in you. Yes, to know that you are the only God and you are the only true living God. Every assignment of the enemy for them to backslide today, I rebuke you by the power in the name of name Jesus. Jesus. Lord, I ask, oh God, that you will, will flood the whole planet earth with the gospel of Jesus Amen. Christ. Muslims will come to know Jesus. Amen. Hindus will come to know Amen. Jesus. Unbelievers will come to know Jesus. Amen. Thank you for that because I know it is done. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. And God bless you once again. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. and amen.